Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Judges chapter 20, following up on my last video. The link will be in the description below. And yeah, some really, really bad stuff has happened from the tribe of Benjamin and from the town or city of Gibeah. I all, all, the only thing I read from chapter 20 was the first 11 verses, and I almost couldn't even... It's taken me about 30 minutes to decide on what topic I wanted to speak on. There is so much I could speak on here. Essentially, that Levite tells all the children of Israel, and they've all gathered. It says in verse 1, from Dan to Beersheba. In American, that's essentially from California to Virginia. Or if you want to go further west from Hawaii to Virginia... Something to that effect. In other words, all of Israel got together. Everyone came together because one body part was sent to each tribe. So he tells them the story of what happened to his concubine. And so, again, there, there are a lot of points I feel like I could bring up. I'm going to focus on one for this video. Starting at verse 8, Judges chapter 20, verse 8. So all the people arose as one man, saying, None of us will go to his tent, nor will any turn back to his house. But now this is the thing which we will do to Gibeah. We will go up against it by lot. We will take ten men out of every hundred throughout all the tribes of Israel, a hundred out of every thousand, and a thousand out of every ten thousand, to make provisions for the people, that when they come to Gibeah in Benjamin, they may repay all the vileness that they have done in Israel. So all the men of Israel were gathered against the city, united together as one man. And here is my point. The one point out of several things I feel like I could have talked about. Here's the one point that I'll pull for this video. Why does it take something so horrific and so terrible, like what happened to Christina Grimmy and like what happened at the Orlando shooting, to bring everyone together as a people. Why does it take something that horrendous and that public and that big, like him delivering a human body part to all the 12 tribes of the children of Israel to gather people together and to make them wake up and get attention? Every human life is important. Every murder should be looked into as thoroughly as possible. All of it should matter. All of it should get attention. I know we've, I feel like this country's come a long way in, in its criminal justice system. And I'm pretty sure there are several countries in the world that are pretty much like Israel was back then. There was no ruler, there was no king, and everyone did what was right in their own eyes. So there really wasn't a justice system of any kind. So he got everyone together by chopping the dead body up. We have a criminal justice system here in America, and a lot of murders are looked into, probably more so than a lot of other countries, and definitely more so than countries without criminal justice systems. I just hope it doesn't take a reminder, like the Orlando shootings, like Christina Grimmie, to remind us that these things are always terrible, these things are always tragic. It doesn't have to be something brutal and something huge like this. Any loss of human life to an injustice is bad. It's a crying shame it takes something so public to bring it to the public forum, to make it publicly spoken about. You know, we humans are simple creatures. Maybe it does take something this big to really get our attention. And that is a shame that we come together and unite only when it's big and only when it's public. And maybe each and every one of us could do our best to change ourselves and to care a little bit more, and to pay a little bit more attention so that every person is treated with the level of humanity that they deserve. And according to the Bible, we're created in the image of God. So that is very, very important. Doesn't get much more important than that. So let's be good to each other, like Mark Senpai said. Let's love one another, and let's live every day like it's our last, because we don't know the time and the hour. And when something like this does happen, even on a smaller scale, 
let's make sure to do our best to make sure justice is done and that our loved ones can be buried in peace and that and that whatever justice needs to be done can be done thank you guys very much for watching this video i love you and god bless